Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and today we're going to talk about the truth. The raw, unvarnished finger in the eye truth, and that is this. Is at the end of the day, we're all on our own. We've got no one, no one but ourselves. However, if we're lucky enough, we have our friends, our family, and our significant others living their lives right next to us. Here and there are people calling, texting, and inviting us over. Family dinner spent in love, catching up with friends and laughter and enjoy. Yet, when we get home in the evening, when we take a shower, we step into bed and close our eyes in order to get ready for another day. We've got no one but ourselves. When we need to decide what to do next in our lives, when life gives us tough choices, we've got no one but ourselves. When we live inside our heads, day in and day out, with our thoughts, our fears, our feelings, and our sparks of joy, we've got no one but ourselves to navigate them and to make sense of them. When life gets a tough twist, we're left with us to navigate it. No one can navigate it for us. And when life goes well, we're left with us to celebrate it. No one, no one can celebrate it for us. And when life goes numb, we're left with us to find our own direction once again. No one can find it for us. Pieces of advice, late night phone calls, talks chatting with our friends in order to find some compassion and understanding, a shoulder to cry on, all of that, all of that is a good thing. Yet, it cannot save us. There's not one person in this world who is responsible for us apart from ourselves, for our happiness, for our sadness, for our boredom, for our anger, for our fear. No one in this world is responsible for making us live better easier, more digestible, or for that matter, no one is responsible for saving us. It's us, and in the end, we've got no one but ourselves, which is both scary and quite liberating. It's scary because it puts responsibility in our hands, and it's liberating because the feeling of control, well, that comes with it. Too often we turn away from ourselves and into the world for fear of facing that which cannot be faced, for fear of dealing with our own darkness. In the movie Into the Wild, the character of Chris McCandless borrows this from Primo Levi. And I also know how important it is in life, not necessarily to be strong, but to feel strong, to measure yourself at once, to find yourself at least once in the most ancient of human conditions, facing blind, deaf, stone alone, with nothing to help you but your own hands and your own head. We all want to navigate this world in the best way possible. For this, We have to learn how to live with ourselves. We have to live with our own thoughts. We have to live with our own failures. We have to live with our own fears, with our own successes, our own sacrifices, with our own regrets. What we all learn is at the end of the day, we have no one but ourselves. See, the most important thing in life is how well we live with ourselves, what we say to ourselves, the standards we set for ourselves, how much we believe in ourselves, how much we willingly push and challenge ourselves, How much of a friendship do we have with ourselves? How much do we demand of ourselves? So feel strong even if you're not. Feel courageous even if you're not. Feel like you can take over the world even if you can't. Feel happy and okay with yourself. Forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. Accept yourself. Gaze into yourself. Love yourself. And most importantly, choose to be your own hero. Because at the end of the day, you're on your own. You've got no one but yourself.